Guten Morgen, everyone. Uh, my, my name is Robert Yanello. I'm the University Program Manager for ARM, and I'd like to welcome you to our first professor workshop on embedded systems and the Internet of Things um, using the Cypress PSOC 4 platform. We're really pleased to be here. This is our first workshop in Germany, uh, so we really appreciate the, the uh, assistance of uh, David from T TUM to make, to make this possible and um, the Leibniz Supercomputer Center um, to uh, give us uh, such a wonderful f facility here. Now you've noticed that there's a camera here, so just to let you know that we will be filming the presentations. We won't be filming any audience members, so you won't be filmed. Um, so, but if you have any issues or any problems, please feel free to come and speak to me afterwards. But we're not filming you, we're just filming the presentations. Because the theory is we want to be able to make this available on our um, YouTube channel uh, so that people who couldn't attend the workshop today uh, can get an opportunity to um, see it later on. Um, so here's today's agenda. Uh, so uh, it's very flexible. Um, so we'll start off with a brief introduction to me um, and then I'll hand over to my colleague Mr. Matthias uh, Hertel. I think I've got your surname right. Um, uh, Matthias is from our Kyle MDK office here in Munich and he'll be giving you an overview of the Kyle MDK toolkit. Uh, and uh, after that I'll hand over to Patrick Kane who's the director um, of the Cy Cyprus University Alliance. Patrick, did you want to stand up or wave or just say, say hello? <laughs> uh, so Patrick's come all, all the way from San Jose to be with us here today, so we appreciate uh, his time today. Uh, and then we'll probably break for morning tea, or maybe we might be able to squeeze in one lab before we break for morning tea. Uh, and then Patrick will introduce uh, the Cyprus Tech technologies um, and then uh, hand over to my colleague Dr. Sean Kong, Hong rather um, and Sean is our senior content creation person uh, and he'll be taking us through some of the lab exercises. Uh, then we'll have a break for lunch and then we'll continue um, with the lab exercises until about 15.30 uh, where we'll have a break uh, and we'll finish uh, at, at, at about five o'clock. So it'll be a full day, but um, we'd like it to be as interactive as possible. So please feel free to ask us questions at any time, interrupt. Uh, we want this to be as enjoyable as possible. So for those of you who have seen this presentation before, my apologies. Uh, uh, I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of the ARM University program in case you weren't familiar. Uh, with what, what we do. So basically our mission is to help and assist universities around the world uh, in teaching um, and partner-based technologies. So we respect academic freedom, so we know you have a choice, but what we'd like to do is make it as easy as possible for you to teach our technologies in the classroom. Um, we serve academia as well as ARM's business strategy. So what we mean by that, so whenever ARM develops any new technology, so say for example the new Cortex M7 processor, uh, what we try to do at the university program is produce teaching materials that will be able to support that. So uh, we hope that you as teachers, as instructors, will be able to teach cutting edge ARM technologies in the classroom, more or less as they appear. So that's one of the key things that we want to do and try to do within the university pro program. So the main way we do this, and many of you, many of you might be familiar with this already, uh, is through our lab in a box. And the lab in, in a box consists of three elements, normally hardware, so we tend to donate about five to ten um, uh, items of a particular development board. Uh, we appreciate it's not enough to have you start a lab, but what it really is is to get you started, get you familiar with the technologies. We donate our software, so the Kyle MDK toolkit as well as the DS5 toolkit. We, we donate floating licenses, so classrooms are able to use the toolkits. And most importantly of all, teaching material. So the workshop materials you'll see today are based on the teaching materials that we've produced for um, the PSOC-based lab, lab in a box. Um, so these 
workshop materials are directly taken from the teaching materials and it's really designed for you as an educator to familiarise yourself especially with the lab exercises and then you're able to um, commit that and translate that to your own students as well. In addition, we run one day professor workshops like this and all of this is free of charge. So we don't actually charge you for the teaching materials or for the professor workshops because we think it's important that um, you're easily able to access this material. Okay, so the way to get access or to request a donation for any one of our labs in a box is to go to our website um, and you'll, you'll see this matrix uh, bro broken down into specific subject areas, so embedded systems or SOC design or graphics processing. Uh, you'll be able to click on that particular link and get access to all, uh, sorry, to then be able to request access to all the different teaching materials. So uh, I can take you through the process maybe during the lunch break, but it's very easy. You just go on our website, you scroll through the matrix and you make your selection. Um, so just some, I guess, uh, very quickly some guiding principles around how we've actually constructed the lab in a box. So we want to make sure that the cost of ownership is as uh, reasonable as possible for the students. So our development boards generally are less than $50. So most students will probably pay about $50 for a textbook. We think that's probably the threshold. Uh, so whenever we select a platform to base our lab in a box on, it's normally that we want to make sure it's around about that $50 level. Uh, we also want to make sure that the teaching materials are accessed conveniently so they're available online to you as a lecturer to be able to use them. Um, we make the material fun and interactive. You'll see by some of the workshop exercises today that a lot of the workshop materials especially are designed to engage with students. Uh, but with the other labs in a box we also have snake games uh, and, and other fun ways of getting the students engaged with the technology but behind the fun there's deep learning there uh, and we make sure that we cover the theory so not only are the students engaged but they're also learning too. Uh, we offer you as the professors solutions to all the lab exercises, all the um, uh, assignments that we present in the lab in a box. Obviously this is for your eyes only, um, not to be given to stu students. Um, and we offer the teaching materials in multiple languages. So moving forward, every lab in a box that we produce will be uh, published both in Chinese and English simultaneously. And we're working on <coughs> translating um, the materials into Japanese and Spanish as well. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. So these are the areas that we're planning lab, labs in a box in. So um, the ones in bold are subject areas where we do have materials. The ones in grey uh, are areas that we're working on. So efficient and rapid embedded system design, SOC design, operating systems, Internet of Things and advanced SOC. Uh, and we're working on commissioning material for computer architecture. We're working on a Linux kernel lab in a box which hopefully should be available by the end of the year and uh, we're in discussions around a possible lab in a box around gaming, graphics design and mechatronics too. Uh, if, if there are any subject areas that you think we've missed out, pl please feel free to, let, to, to let, let us know. We're constantly looking for new ideas to produce courseware in. So um, moving on to today's content, uh, content rather, um, the lab in a box that these teaching, these uh, workshop materials are based on is our newest lab, lab in a box on efficient embedded system design based on the Cypress PSOC hardware. Um, Patrick will go into a lot more detail about the benefits of, of the hardware and both Patrick and Sean will show you um, some of the workshops that are in this particular teaching material. So this is available now, so at the end of the workshop if you want to request a donation uh, please feel free to let, to let us know and we can definitely do that. Um, we're also working on an Internet of Things version of this particular platform too 
and some of the workshop materials you'll, you'll see today will be based on this new Internet of Things Lab in a Box. I don't think it's available now, but it will be within the next few months. So keep an eye out on our website um, for, for, for that. Um, I understand that um, you'll all be given a board today, uh, which you can keep. Uh, so uh, you can go home and practice some of the workshop exercises uh, or, or in, your, in your office as well. So you'll be able to keep the boards that we give you today. So um, for those of you who, who haven't seen um, our Lab in a Box teaching materials before, I just wanted to very quickly go through the structure of what you actually get. So um, normally it's about 10 to 12 modules, so it's designed to fit into a semester. So if you wanted to, you could teach um, a, a module a week and it would fit into a, a semester's class. So what you'll see is um, an in introduction to the concept, um, some modules based around core theories and also core technologies. So you'll, you'll find out more about the particular um, co Cortex pro processor core that the uh, hard hardware board is based on. There'll be um, a module around C, uh, around interrupts, um, timers, uh, and then there'll be very specific access, uh, modules around the uh, technology that we're trying to teach as well. So you'll, you'll, you'll see in the teaching materials that what you get will be a PowerPoint presentation. So you, uh, each week you'll be able to, to deliver that PowerPoint presentation if you wanted to. We also give you homework um, that you can hand out to students. We give you the demo code, lab exercises, and even the assignment solutions as well. So we give you everything you need to be able to teach the course. Now, obviously, it's up to you how you teach that. You can use everything if you want to, or if you just wanted to use one module or one lab exercise, you can do that as well. We don't force you to do anything, uh, but we give you the full materials in case you do want to actually uh, adopt all of the teaching materials there. So I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of the structure. Uh, we can also give you access to some sample modules as well um, for your own benefit, just to do some initial assessment before you decide to adopt the lab in a box. So we can give you access to that as well. Okay, so just very quickly, some additional offerings that we make available to the acad academic community worldwide. So. Um, as I mentioned, we are filming all of our professor workshops and they'll be made available on our YouTube channel. So I think we've run about five or six of these already uh, on a wide variety of topics. So you can go to our YouTube channel and actually get access to past professor workshops. Um, and I think that's a really good, good resource. Um, there's in particular an ARM fundamentals video which we have on our YouTube channel, which is our most popular Chan um, sorry, video, I think it's got about 80,000 hits. And if you're just um, uh, new to ARM, don't know much about our technology, this is a really good video actually to uh, view and just familiarize yourself with the ARM uh, core technologies. We also have getting started videos. We understand, especially in lab environments, you probably spend half the time showing the students how to set up the software or how, how to set up the hardware. So what we've done is we filmed a lot of that. So it, it re relieves you of the burden uh, to actually spend half of your lab time showing the students this. So you can access uh, these videos on our um, YouTube channel as well. Uh, we have our usual social media outlets, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter as well. Uh, and we also have um, the Arm Connected Community, which is a closed website that um, is by invitation only and it's really designed for you uh, who are experiencing teaching arm uh, to give us some feedback about what what works what doesn't uh, and also maybe to share some of your thoughts with us in terms of where we can improve or where we can add new materials on. So if you haven't joined the Arm Connected community before, I would encourage you to do so. It's a really good resource for you if you are planning to teach arm in your classrooms. Okay, and just finally, um, the ARM University program is, is actually 
building material. So uh, in many ways, we're almost like a publisher in that uh, what we'll, we'll be doing is obviously we create courseware, um, but also we'll be producing e-books, uh, e-textbooks. E, e uh, we're also looking at producing online courses. Um, so most of the materials we're currently producing are lecturer facing. So it requires you as a lecturer to actually teach them. But what we're working on is a student facing version where the student will be able to take a course online with very minimal supervision from the lecturer. So almost like a MOOC. Although I don't really want to call it a MOOC. So in case you're not familiar with a MOOC, it's a massive open online course. Uh, we prefer to call it as an online course. Um, so um, we're looking for authors to actually help us uh, produce this content, the ebook content, the online courses, and even um, the labs in the box. So if you're interested in helping us, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you've got an idea about a textbook or an ebook uh, that you'd like to share, share with us, please, please feel free to come and speak to me during the session today or email us and we're more than happy to um, talk, talk to you about this for, further. Especially if your university is offering continuing professional development courses and maybe you're looking for some content to help you do that, we'd, we'd very much like to speak to you about this as well. And um, the ARM University program also sits within the research division of ARM. So if you've got a research idea of, or uh, a, a possible project for collaboration, uh, please feel free and come and speak to me again today. Uh, we can certainly put you in contact with our, our research colleagues that perhaps could be interested in talking to you. Um, so that's it from me. So um, I'd like to wish you all the best for, for today. I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time. As I mentioned before, please feel free to ask us as many questions as possible because uh, it's um, the opportunity for you to, to learn. So thank you. And I'm now going to hand over to Matt Matthias is going to talk to us about Kyle.